hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you all what i did to get this look right here this is a valentine's day themed makeup look um i kind of just you know wung it that's it and i didn't do too much it's not too glam definitely not you know natural or subtle or whatever but i think it's a really cool makeup look if you want to go for you know girly semi semi glam if that's what you want to call it so if you would like to see how i got this makeup look please stay tuned and don't forget to give your girl thumbs up okay thank you keep watching i already went ahead and did oh shit I got a braid sticking out wait is my shit my shit ain't even secured <laughs> hold up so i did my brows off camera mainly because i did not want to you know just take up too much time i recently bought this new brow pomade um from la girl pro um it is yeah it's a brow pomade where's the packaging i did just kind of like open it um so this is the packaging i had to like tear it open um but it's the la girl um brow pomade it is in soft black and all day wear sculpt and define brows long lasting gel formula smudge proof y'all look at this oh like I really touched it on that one. That's basically like all I'd use. Um, that plus, let me cover it because I have a tendency of like losing the end pieces to like my brow pencils. They just never last me that long. So I use Elf's brow pencil and the color, well, this is actually black. And I use LA Girl brow pomade in soft black. So that's what I use on my brows. And I'm actually kind of happy with the way they turned out. So first I'm gonna go ahead and um, start with a primer. I don't really use a lot of primers. I'm gonna use this Absolute New York Flawless Face Foundation Primer. Flawless, I hope I said that right. Flawless face, not flawless face. I am not a makeup expert. I kind of just taught myself how to do makeup and it just works for me, you know, it works for me. So the foundation I'm going to use is a stick foundation from Black Opal. It is in the shade Truly Topaz. Maybe I should have done my eyes first. I should have. I should have done my eyes first. So, like I say, y'all, I'm not perfect. Like, I be just, I be fucking up sometimes, you know? So, that's all the foundation I'm going to use. Don't judge me. My foundation brush is kind of like, you know, blowing me a little. I can literally take the shit out. So, I kind of have to hold it like that. Yeah, I don't want to use too, too, too much foundation. I'm gonna go in with um la girl pro concealer this is probably another holy grail everyone and their mama uses this this is in the shade pure beige i think that's part of it and this is also the shade that i use to you know outline my brows So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the LA Girl um, Luminous Glow. And I'm going to squirt that on certain areas of my face. There you go right there. Now, I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to let this sit. I don't usually do that, but I'm kind of winging it here. Not necessarily, but enough. Oh, yeah. This is good. This is real good. If y'all hear any noises like that. I'm sitting on a toe in this damn near brook, so you gotta do what you gotta do. I have quite a few palettes to choose from as well. This is a very old palette. I bought this from uh, Marshalls, I think. I don't know if I wanna use it. I'm gonna use this 23, this Perfect 23 palette. You can get this from, I wanna say any beauty supply store. Well, that was my transitional shade. Now I'm going to um, take the same concealer and do a cut crease. I don't really do cut creases a lot.
now that I have like my eyes, I'm gonna let that that um I'm gonna let that concealer on my eyes set. This is a shade that I just used, a reddish shade, and also this right here, reddish shades. I'm gonna go back in with the first one and do the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with this on top, which just makes it pop out more. Yeah, it really does. Now what I kind of want to do is just take like it's a little bit of this gold shade, you know. I kind of don't really want to do anything to my lips. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro face powder the whole thing is covered and I'm gonna pat it on my face now I'm gonna take my blush brush and I'm gonna go back in with it just so that I won't have any circles on my face. Yeah. Now I am going to do my. I think I should go ahead and do my eyeliner. I hope I don't mess up. I really don't like this eyeliner, honestly. I don't like it. And I really hope I don't mess up. I think I got that good. I think I, I think I did good. I think I did alright. Okay. So I don't have any lashes, unfortunately. Um, I haven't really mastered master master lashes like that, but you know, I like mascara. that's done i do have this la colors like lip gloss i mean you can do that but now that that is finished i'm gonna go ahead and take this scarf off because your girl curled her hair and jewelry you know so your girl can really do it right shit i gotta have the earrings the bracelets you know all that i'm gonna bronze up my face with my blush and contour palette so i'm going to use this darker shade for my contour and i'm just going to like take this kind of brush you know dip and dab it i don't need a lot for real for real and i i don't know how to contour properly The worst place I don't know how to contour is my forehead. I do not know how to contour my forehead. So, I'm gonna make a line.
I'm gonna go in with the uh, Luminous Glow. And I'm basically gonna put that again, right here and right here. That is crazy. And the highlighter would just like accentuate that for real, for real. Um, but the real highlighter that I'm going to use, and that is the I don't know how to pronounce this, and this is broke too, but back, back together like that. NK Makeup uh, Perfection Highlighter. Um, I think it's Nika K or Nika K, I don't know, but whatever K it is. Ooh, I can't see. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because this, whenever I use this with like black eyeliner, it always turns out kind of purplish. I'm going to use a brown eyeshadow, right? Okay, now I have that. And now I'm going to go in directly in the middle. You see how it adds like such a natural, it doesn't look too crazy, you know? I'm bad sitting on this damn thing. So this is the finished look. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this makeup look. I didn't do too much, right? I didn't do too much at all. Give your girl a thumbs up because I like giving thumbs up back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.